Hey guys, I'm just going to do a um, quick update today on a couple of cloud mining sites. Uh, do a little Bitcoin cloud mining comparison, I guess you would call it. Um, the three sites I'm going to go over are Hashflare, uh, Minergate, and Miner Farm. Um, so without further ado, if that's something you're interested in, be sure to watch the video. Um, got some pretty surprising numbers on some things and great deals on other ones. Alright guys, so be sure to um, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, first time here watching, I appreciate it, and hit the bell icon below, alright guys? I'll see you inside the computer. Hey guys, Shane here. I uh, just want to do an update today on the uh, Bitcoin clown mining uh, comparison. Little update, I'm involved with three different sites. Uh, Miner Farm here, which is actually free to join. We'll go over that in a sec. Um, Miner Gate, the recent one I just joined. And Hashflare, which was my first, first one I joined. So I compiled numbers on a spreadsheet going by price per gigahash, 10 gigahash. Price per 100 gigahash. Um, total fees that I've experienced and what your ROI would be if you invested a hundred dollars today in each one of these programs so let's pull the sheet up so we'll start off with minor farm here which is the free one you can join for free get a hundred giga hashes okay and then if you want to get any more that's 1669 per 100 giga hash after that. The total fees that I've experienced are 76%, which is pretty pretty darn high. That's that's actually outrageous. ROI and if on that if you invested $100 would be 969 days. That's almost 3 years. Okay, so Hashflare 12 is right now. I actually just saw this today. It used to be a um, dollar eighty per hundred giga hash, and now it's a um, dollar twenty or twelve dollars per hundred giga hash. That fees right now that I've experienced are forty seven percent and. The ROI on that, if you invested $100 today, would be $317. And the last one, Minergate, uh, it's $1468 per 100 giga hash. The fees there that I've seen are roughly 50%, and that would be 410 days. A uh, couple little notes these fees uh, fluctuate with the price of Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin goes up, these percentages will drop, and vice versa. Um, of course, these numbers are from my own personal experience, so take that with what you will. It's only what I've seen. It's only what I've known. Uh, and Hashflare right now, on top of the $12 per 100 giga hash, they have an actual an additional 10% discount code going on right now. I'll show you that real quick. So here we are in uh, Hashflare. I want to go to buy SHA-256, which is cloud mining for Bitcoin. If I scroll over, price per gigahash is $1.20. That used to be $1.80. So they just dropped that within the past week. And I didn't see any kind of an email on it. It's like they... I don't know if it's an error going on right now or they it's like a soft launch or something so 100 giga hash would cost me $12 if you click proceed let me get the code here real quick here's the code right there so you can scroll back down go to proceed so I could click redeem code Put that in, redeem, and that should drop it down to $10.80, yes. So $10.80 for a 100 giga hash. Let's go over real quick. Let me see if we can pull this up. 
Let's click on this. Let's go to the mining profitability. Let's see what they um, ROI. Let's cancel this real quick. And let's say I wanted to purchase Click on here we go. It's taking a while to load, taking a while to load. Buy hash rate, shot two fifty six. All right, here we are. So let's say I wanted to buy. Let's say one tera hash. One terahash, one hundred and twenty dollars. Let's go to proceed. Let's enter the coupon code. Redeem. So that would cost me a hundred and eight dollars for one terahash. So let's go over to here. See what that would that would be one thousand gigahash. We're not paying for any power so these will be zero my pool fees that I've noticed are 47 percent hardware costs were 108 is that correct 108 dollars let's see what the ROI and terms of Bitcoin's value as of today Let's scroll down. 284 days, guys. That's the lowest I've seen in a while. So you would be making 38 cents a day over one year, $138. 11 bucks a month on one terahash. Which, like I said, that's the lowest I've seen it in a long time. And I'm actually thinking about getting some more. The only problem with uh, hash flare is if you want to withdraw, you need a minimum of 0 0.0500, this number right here, 0 0.050028. So let's go here. You would need that much Bitcoin. 0 0.050028. BTC, USD. So you would, that's equivalent of $458. That's the only setback with hash flow that I see. You would have to mine for a pretty good amount of time to get, to get to be able to cash out, which can be, uh, pretty apprehensive to some people. These other ones, they're much, much lower. I think, um, I think Miner Farm, not quite sure, but I know um, Miner Gate is like 0 .0001, if I'm not mistaken, Bitcoin. So I could actually cash out right now. I got a dollar sixty-two in there. I've been with them for eight days now starting on the 4th here it is on the 12th here's the fees steady 16 and a half cents a day I only got what was it 500 giga hash for 73 bucks is what I got with them but your best bet now if you're looking to get into cloud mining um, with the deal hash flare has going ten dollars and eighty cents with that coupon code per hundred giga hash that's pretty good that's pretty low the only problem with hash layer like I said though is you gotta have 0 0.05 Bitcoin to withdraw that may go down it may not I don't know but that's the only setback I see I think I've got 0 0.01 Bitcoin right now let me check that real quick Go to, yeah, I got 0 0.0101348 is what I got sitting in there right now. It's like 91 bucks. But 
I thought I would throw that out there. I know some people are interested in cloud mining. Is it worth it? Is it profitable? It is. It's just the ROI in some of these are for a pretty long time. But the best bet would be hash flare right now, with the only setback being the big withdrawal fee or the big withdrawal sum you would have to have to get your money out. So anyways, that's just my experience, guys. Uh, it's not investment advice. You sh should probably still do research if you're interested in your own getting into cloud mining. Um, but these are my results. This is what I'm noticing with my own accounts. Just these three. I don't know too much about Genesis mining. I know they're getting some flack now from the SEC about cease and desist orders, so I don't know how that's going. Uh, it's a little little nerve-wracking, I'm sure, for some people. But anyways, that's that's what I'm seeing, guys. I hope this info uh, helps you all out a little bit, maybe helps in your decision-making. Um, it's pretty much why I did the video. Would have been nice to have something like this when I started clown mining, cloud mining. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel, uh, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for any future videos. I'll have one coming out later on today uh, about my mining rig update. I do my own mining. Um, if you like the video, please hit the uh, like button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just put them down below and I will definitely get back to you guys. Alright? Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.